So today we're going to talk about mixture problems revisited. So we're going to do call them more mixtures. Did it? Oh, it's on freeze. Oh, jeez. Okay, sorry. I didn't know what you were saying when you kept saying freeze. I thought you meant like it was cold in here. Um, okay. So more mixtures is what we're going to be looking at today. More mixtures. Uh, okay. So let's say that um, Mr. Taft's Algebra 1 is currently uh, Let's say you guys are 70% cool with um, I, d I didn't say I was talking about you guys. I didn't say I was talking about you guys. He has a different algebra one I got two other algebra one classes. Oh, there's two other algebra Yeah. So I got, let's say that, let's say that un an unnamed, and I've been teaching this for 10 years, so maybe I'm talking about a different year. So let's say that Mr. Taft's algebra one class is currently, well, this, maybe I'm talking past tense, or was currently, 70% cool with uh, 10 students. 10 students. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and 30% sexy. Okay. He wants... a 90% cool Algebra 1 class. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Uh, how many 100% cool students need to be added? Need to be added. Okay, so this takes the mixture problem and makes it just a tiny bit more difficult. So what we were looking for before was you knew the amount of thing one and the percent of thing one, the amount of thing two and the percent of thing two, and you were finding the percent of the mixture. So what we're doing right now is we know the amount of thing one and the percent of thing one. Um, we don't know the amount of thing two, but we know the percent of thing two, and we're trying to figure out how many we need to add to that in order to make a specific percent for the mixture. So we're just kind of moving around where the x is going to be. And it makes the problem a tiny bit more difficult, but we've been doing enough of these uh, multi-step equations that it shouldn't be too difficult for you guys. So it's still going to be three points, and we still have to make a table first. So our table is still going to have, on the left-hand side, thing one, thing two, and then the mixture. And then along the top, we're going to do amount. We're going to do percent. And this could be dollars if you're looking at like one of those mixed nut problems. And then we're going to do product. So Mr. Taft's algebra 1 class, 70% cool with 10 students. So for thing 1, what's the amount and what's the percent? 10 Okay, so the amount is 10, the percent is 70. Now I don't know, I want to have a 90% cool algebra 1 class. I don't know how many 100% cool students I need to add, but I know that my amount, since I don't know, the amount of thing 2 is x, and I'm adding to it 100% cool students. So my percent for thing 2 is 100%. So I'm taking thing 2, or th sorry, thing 1, and I'm adding to it thing 2, and I'm going to get the mixture, and what do I want the percentage of the mixture to be? I want it to be 90, right? So in this case, the percentage of the mixture has to be in between these two. So like I'm taking from 70, I'm adding 100, my mixture has to be in between those two percentages. Now 10 plus x, if I'm going 10 and I'm adding x, what does 10 plus x turn into? 10x. Not 10x, no. 10 plus, 10 plus x, there we go. 10 plus x, right? So 10 times x is 10x, but 10 plus x is 10 plus x, right? You guys remember that? Yeah. It's like apples and oranges. 
apple plus orange isn't apple orange, despite how delicious that might sound. Right? You Just because you have the two of them next to each other doesn't make one super fruit. Like, just because you put them next to each other, they don't automatically emerge. All right. So, yeah, like that pineapple thing, yeah. So, I'm going to... I'm going to multiply straight across here. So I'm going to do 10, 700, good. And then this is 100x. Now, when I multiply here, I need to put this in parentheses. So I'm going to do 90, and then in parentheses, 10 plus x. So here's my, um, my table. So this is one of the three points that you're going to get for this, um, this kind of problem when it shows up. You with me so far? Kind of, sort of? All right, let's look at part two here. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to turn it into an equation now. And the equation is the same way. I'm going to do thing one, 700, plus thing two, 100x, is equal to the mixture. So for my equation, off to the side, I'm going to write 700 plus 100x is equal to 90 times, in parentheses, 10 plus x. So now, from here, it's the same steps that we've been doing for multi-step equations. You're going to distribute first. So on the right-hand side, I'm going to distribute 90 to both things inside. So 90 times 10 turns into... 90. No. 900. 900. 90 times x is 90x. Great. On the left-hand side, 700 plus 100x. Cool. Now I've got, I don't need to combine any like terms because I just have number, variable, number, variable, but I need to get all my variables on one side and all my constants on the other. I'm going to choose to put my variables on the left and my constants on the right. You could do differently. That's totally up to you. Um, you could do variables on the right, constants on the left. That's fine. What? Okay. So I'm going to move my 90x over here. And because it's a positive 90x, I'm oh, going to subtract. Who cares? This is math. Okay. Oh, shh, quiet. I'm going to subtract 90x from both sides. Yeah, right? So you're you've mean. been through this. You're a mean she, dude. She just corrected me in a mean fashion. No, I didn't. No, she didn't. You were way meaner. Well, two wrongs make right. Like, two <laughs> negatives make positive. No, they don't. OK. Shh, quiet. <laughs> So 700 minus 700 goes away. 100x minus 90x is 10x. Equal sign drops down. 900 minus 700 is 200. 90x minus 90x goes away. Now, to, fall, to solve for x, what do I have to do now? Divide by 10, solve the one step. And so I get x is equal to 20. Now, because this, is, uh, this isn't a percentage, I'm not like this isn't 20%. This is a number of students I need to add because this is a word problem. It's 20 students. So in order to make this Algebra 1 class 90% cool, I need to add 20 100% cool students to it. And we'll have 30 students. Right. What? No, you could just write 20 students and that would be fine. But since it's a word problem, you do need to have like the um, the label, yeah. Okay. So let's take a look at um, the assignment, and we'll go from there. So here's some more examples. Um, Y'all will be fine. So let's take a look at question number uh, one here. So um, before you do anything else, make sure you put your name on your assignment. So I'm going to put my name on mine. I'm going to model some good behavior here.
I did not know people were celebrating that, but okay. Monsters Inc. Monsters Incorporated. Happy belated birthday movie. Okay. All right. So as we're reading through this, so Dan wants he wants to make a 62% acid solution. He's already poured four milliliters of 82% acid. So 62% isn't thing one. 62% is the mixture he wants to make. Um, or maybe it's a she. It could be a she. Oh, no, it says he. Um, he has already poured four milliliters of 82%. So this is thing one down here. Four milliliters, 82%. So the amount of thing one is four, and the percent is 62. Um, how many milliliters of a 46%? So we don't know how many milliliters. We're going to call that X. 46. Did I make it? I did. Thank you, Andrea and Zach. Mr. Taft made some mistakes. <laughs> I am an imperfect person, and I make at least 50 mistakes a day. Whoa. So many mistakes. I'm okay. a robot. I'm not. <laughs> so, so what should I put for the amount of the mixture now? Four plus X. Thank you, Zach. Four plus X. Ooh. And I'm going to put this in parentheses here so that I remember to keep it in parentheses when I multiply it across for the last column. And oh my gosh, I have to do multiplication here. Oh my God. But wait! But wait! I remember the distributive property so I can even do this in my head. What's four times eight? Okay, so 4 times 80 is 320, and then 4 times 2 is 8, so 4 times 82 is 328. Holy cow, I could do that in my head. Everybody could do that. Okay, and then what's 46 times x? 46x. Great. And then 62, and then in parentheses, 4 plus x. So that's 1 out of 3 points for this problem. The second of three points comes from writing the equation. The equation is 328 plus 46x is equal to 62 times 4 plus x. I didn't give you a ton of room on this. I should have given you more room. My bad. So I'm going to distribute first. So 62 times 4, I'm going to use that good old distributive property again. 6 times 4 is 24. So 60 times 4 is 240, and then 2 times 4 is 8. So 240 plus 8 is 248, and then 62 times x is 62x. And over here I've got 328 plus 46x. Cool. So distribute, um, combine like terms, which I don't need to do, and constants to one side variables to the other. So, any input on this, you guys, about what side you want constants on, what side you want variables on? Left variables. So. Variables on the left? I'm just going with Michael because he was the one who's right next to me. If you guys want to put variables on the um, right. right, that's fine. Or sorry, left, that's fine. Um, so I'm going to minus 46x from both sides. And I'm going to minus 248 from both sides. So 8 minus 8 is 0. I'm going to borrow from the 3. 12 minus 4 is 8, so 80. This cancels. Uh, I'm going to drop down my equal sign. This cancels. And then 5. 12 minus 6 is 6. And then 16x. And then I have to divide both sides by 16. So x is equal to something. 16 goes into 80 five times. So can I just leave it at five? Or since it's a word problem, do I have to do something extra? Lay of wood. Lay of wood. Five. Nice. Five milliliters. So five milliliters. And I'm even going to put a box around it. Kind of, sort of? Yes, no, maybe so? Um, maybe 
Um, wow. Okay, so you guys can work with somebody else if you want to. I made a deal with two specific students. I'm, uh, no, I'm fanning these panther bucks because I made a deal with two specific students yesterday but about these panther bucks. You go like, <laughs> these panther bucks are spoken for, Cade. If I know, I heard you. No, I heard you. It's it's object it's it's objectively not true, Cade. Yeah.